So, this is actually happening. So, are you ready for... This better not be an April Fool's joke this time, or I'm gonna be freaking p Give me a break, Nats. It's not like I didn't want to go through with this in the first place. It's just... How many people would want a hat and time mod that's got nothing to do with hat and time? That depends. How many mods of characters from other franchises get modded into games in general? I don't think player model swaps and a full level mod series are quite the same thing. Okay, but why though? I don't know. It just seems like one of those unwritten rules or something. I'm overthinking it. <sighs> Anyway, I'm ready to start. Alright, now we just gotta wait for everyone to get here. Okay, so why did you separate everybody on this godforsaken ice mountain before the game started again? So the introductions don't happen all at once. The focal character of the chapter is supposed to start with the sanitarium, work their way through the mines, then get here to the lodge, through the basement, since the mines connect there. It's the long route since the sanitarium connects to the lodge basement anyway, but we need a natural pace for the introductions. Okay, another question. Who's the idiot that designed this building and decided an abandoned mine shaft, sanitarium, and ski lodge should all connect to each other? I don't know and I hate it. Why is Until Dawn so freaking stupid? Uh, I had such a great concept in the middle, the acting and presentation's great. Why must the writing suck? What do you think it is? I think it will be dead soon. What about the notes we found? Do you really want to risk this thing killing us? I say we kill before it starts stirring. Look, it has a visor on its head. And it's wearing clothes. I doubt it's a feral beast or anything. What? <coughs> oh, huh. Alright. What crazy thing did I get mixed up in now? Oh, yay. I'm being held at gunpoint. Shoot it before it tries something. Give it a rest. He's obviously not a monster trying to kill us. Why would I do that? You might want to read the paper. out of it either. Can we go look for that lodge? It's freezing out here. E yeah. I say we go this way. We go outside and we'll have a better chance of finding the lodge. We already checked outside. I don't know about you, but I'd rather look for a back door to this place. Or a way to the roof. The way to the roof eroded right away and going further into the building is counterproductive. It won't matter if we freeze to death. Fine, you take your way then. Do you two know each other or... No. That was the first I've met him. Still hasn't told me his name. Well, the note said to introduce ourselves, so... What's your name? None of your business. <sighs> of course. Anyway... My name's Jill Valentine. I'm a member of an elite police force. I should introduce myself, too. Garrus Vicarian. I used to be part of a police force as well. Used to? So you quit? There's too much red tape in the way. I couldn't do anything. When an opportunity to stop a rogue Spectre came up, I jumped at the chance to find make a difference. I dig it. Spectre means something specific here? What is his problem? People say that I have a stick up my ass. Would you like to talk on the way? Sure. No reason not to. Zombies in the future? Really? We're still not done with that by the 22nd century? Apparently not. I didn't know zombies were actually a thing on Earth as early as... What is this doing here? That's weird. Yeah, little do they know this cuisine will be so exquisite they will never want to stop eating it. To the genius trap by the great Papyrus. Yeah. It looks and smells terrible. You think though around here some where did you come from? Ah! Oh wowie! You're screaming for joy after merely witnessing my fine dish? No. Where did you come from? Aha! You are impressed. You must be... <gasps> my popularity is already growing. I must not let up in my dream to become loved by all. Does this guy have a mute button? I think I'm a homicidal. 
Uh, Papyrus, you had a letter too, right? Oh, sure. I used the other side for my trap. A trap of friendship. That is how that works, right? No, no, of course it is. Would you like to join us in finding a lodge? The letter did say to go there. Very well, to the lodge. Was it a good idea to let him scout ahead? Honestly, I just wanted my ears to stop ringing. He is a handful. Not a bad guy. But still, I suppose we could have met crazier. Want to blow up something else? You were saying? <sighs> Should we? May as well. Hey, what's going on over there? I knew that'd help us find somebody. Oh, hey, that's happening! Oh, so you didn't just cause an explosion in an abandoned and likely unstable building for fun. That was the main reason we did it. What? It was fun. Please tell me this is just a really weird dream and I'm not completely insane. Who even are you? I'm Sam of the Freelance Police. What do you mean, Freelance Police? We take jobs by the Commissioner to solve whatever problems they need solved, or look for trouble to solve. You wouldn't believe how many Eldritch God calls we get. All who witness me turn mad. Anyone who dares get my way will be crushed by my followers. Now I shall stand in my way to decimate those who oppose me. No dragon, alien, zombie army, sword, or Christmas shall take me down. I have regained my power to the fullest, and now I am unstoppable. And that was our first day. All right, Cthulhu, let's get it on. So that's why he's crazy. What's your excuse? Oh, If you think Crash here is crazy, you haven't met Max yet. I take it Max is another participant we haven't met yet? Don't know, I haven't seen him yet. If anything happens to my little buddy... Max must be somebody he knows. What about you, Crash? Can you speak normally? <laughs> well... This has been... interesting. We should have to the launch soon, right? Oh no, I lost my new friends! Where is everyone? You guys have a much different way of handling things than we do. The rules for this exist for a reason. Are we even going the right way? Was wandering into a cave system our best choice? I don't even know where we are right now. I'm sure if we wander around and examine everything, we'll figure out what to do next. Eventually. Do you think anyone's in this cave system? Perhaps the aroma of my brilliant spaghetti will lure those nearby to our location. Hello? Is someone there? It's dark here. Oh, I have yet to start cooking and already it is working. Can you, uh, keep yelling really loudly? That's helping, I think. Uh, sorry. I'm a little lost. Yep-o! What do you say? We have no idea. Uh, oh, um... What's your name, kid? Uh, I'm Nico. I just want to go home. Whoever took us all here brought little kids, too. I don't like this. Can we, uh, go somewhere warmer? Excuse me. I heard someone yelling like a madman. Looks like your attempt at finding people in this cave was effective. Hooray! Do any of you realize the danger we're all in? Correct me if I'm wrong, but weren't all of us preoccupied with other things before suddenly waking up in, on some godforsaken mountain in the middle of nowhere? I know I was. Finally, someone I can take seriously. I'm a bit too used to extreme circumstances and suicidal missions. It comes packaged with working with Shepard. Whoever did this must be very powerful, or have some very strong connections. Something to explain how they pulled this off. Maybe they wanted to make friends. Kidnapping multiple people, giving them strange, vague letters of a game, and throwing them into a cave system with several pieces of evidence lying around, pointing to an easy cave-in? Am I really to believe this person is on our side? This game is likely something twisted, horrible, and... I want to go home. Oh. Right. Sorry. It has to be said. We're in danger. Um... Who are you? CEO. I, uh... meant your name. When I first heard it after getting amnesia, that was my reaction too. Wait, your name is literally CEO? Yes. 
let me guess, you're the CEO of something. Gee, what gave you that idea? We should continue to the lodge. I'm still freezing. Y yeah, let's... Who are you and when did you get here? Uh, oh, um... No need to be shy. If you need encouragement, the great Papyrus will give you a legendary pep talk. I'm Mayu. Is that a manhole cover? A design choice for a mine passage. How do we open it? Oh! I thought it would be harder. Hi. Uh, hi. Sorry, I, uh... <sighs> Sorry. Well, you look sketchy. Who are you, an assassin? A ninja? Yeah, man, that buck. I draw things. That's it? I'm an artist, okay? With a body like that? Are you on steroids? If so, can I have some? Now, to both of those things. Now, let me introduce myself properly. <laughs> you can call me Octavian. Everyone else should be upstairs. What do you mean by that? Everyone else? You guys got the letters about the game, yeah? Yes. All the other participants are further upstairs. How do you know that we're the last ones? We'll find out once the meet and greet finishes. Head that way to the lodge, it leads straight to the basement. Wait, the mines lead the lodge? So does the sanitarium. Oh, come on. You could have gotten out of the cold sooner if we went that way. By the way, wasn't Gale supposed to be with you? Gale? The blind guy with the cactus up his butt because of how prickly he is. He never told us his name. <sighs> From a sort leader, he is a terrible team player. We'll be on our way. Alrighty, see you at the lodge. He knows more than he should. Yeah, something's not right with him. You know, I can still hear you, right? Y'all are locked down the hall. I mean, you're not wrong, but still. He seems nice and honest to me. Thanks. Well, let's discuss this elsewhere. Just wait until the introductions are over, okay? Now it's playing a lot. Ugh, this place is full of freaks. No kidding. Ah. It's nice to finally warm up by the fire after being in that cold cave for so long. Seems like everyone's going through their introductions. Oh my god, did you really just walk here in the freezing cold alone from the sanitarium? I'm fine. Fireplace! There! Now! <laughs> You two got here for me? Yep. Uh-huh. Meet anyone on the way? Unimportant. Gail, introduce yourself. How do you know? Introductions. I've never met him before. You've got our eye on him. So, your name is Gail? Hmm. You want to chat? No. Good, me neither. Hey, I'm going around introducing myself. If I'm gonna be stuck in what I'm assuming is a kidnapping death game, I may as well know who my friends and enemies are, you know? A death game? Well, yeah. Haven't you heard of Saw before? The only reason I can think a mass kidnapping like this would happen is if someone wants to be amused by something horrible happening. If we're lucky, we can get through with friendship. As corny as it sounds. Wishful thinking. Yeah. Well, we gotta at least try. You're being awfully calm considering you think we're in a demented murder game. I know, but... Well, someone has to be. And it sure isn't gonna be Gramble. I don't think I've met Gramble yet. I'll go get him. Oh, by the way, I'm Natsuki. If you want cupcakes or writing tips, you know who to ask. I'm sorry, you seem too young to be this calm about this. You think I'm 12, don't you? You're not. <sighs> I'm 18. What? Look, I didn't grow right because I didn't eat well. It's a long story, okay? Just drop it! Okay, okay, I'll drop it. Sheesh. She does not look 18. Nope. 